All right, we're starting our video inside the best part of the PT Cruiser limo. Why would you buy something like this? So you can just ride around and fit it in a normal parking spot, which it does in downtown Charleston. I've done it. Um, and drive around a limo. It's cheap, but actually mechanically pretty sound with the laser light show going on in the back and champagne flutes and lava lamps and whiskey decanters. I'm Chris, I'm with Car Cave. Um, our website's carcaveusa.com, 803-262-4742. I don't have to go over the financing thing because I'm pretty sure there's no bank that's gonna give you money for it. Um, they don't like the dollar to fund ratio that this represents, but we'll take cash. Maybe even a trade, depends on what you have. If you bring something equally fun, we'll talk. Uh, as you can see, you have all your normal glasses around down here. I think we broke a few, no, they're all accounted for, I see them. Um, we've had a few trips, few adventures. We're missing one up top here. Um, you have some decanters, you have a ice hole for your champagne. Cheap Walmart champagne does the trick. Um, these are kind of touch sensitive, which is cool. You have a plug in here. We put in a new touch screen, I believe it's Kenwood. Uh, let's see, a DMX 12 nine btk because the bluetooth wouldn't stay connected it annoyed us there's a sub in the back it does actually get pretty loud in here there's ac in the rear so you can hear off and on the vents are minimal if you're in heat it's middle of summer uh good luck it's not gonna do a lot i'm just gonna be honest it blows cool air it, it's working it's just uh not made for you know global warming climate change and the heat that we're experiencing nowadays but it does work it's all functional you have a fan speed switch um partition's gone when we got that tv in here we took it out because we felt bad for whichever buddy got a uh, screwed over and had to drive that day so then we could talk to him we've loaded a lot of people in here i'm sitting in the far back uh we put you can talk on your phone we put the little microphone up here um so our controls and the partition no go but you have bar lighting see the lava lamp slide up uh, then you have your interior lighting here so everything seems to be for a 23 year old limo like pretty well functional i don't think we've used the heat you can see the ac when i hit the button kick on and like i said it blows cold it's just it's a lot of space to heat in the middle of summer in the south so don't expect it to uh keep you icicle cold back here the front ac is great um there's let's see i remember a laser light show i don't remember the switch it's a little bit when i have my kids back here that comes out but you do have a few switches that change the mood lights here you can see the effect uh you have some let's turn on some lights some kenwood speakers the kenwood deck I said one glass missing. A little bit of sand in here is from our degenerate creative photographer. You know how creatives are. He took it out to get pictures. He got it dirty. Now we got to detail the thing again. Um, I said different switches work. It's amazing after that many years. It only has 60 some thousand miles on it. So let's uh, venture to the outside. We'll, uh, we'll turn on the lights and you can get a glimpse of what goes on in here. For seat belts, you have probably four plus the two so i think it's really a six seater uh, we've done a lot more than that we've taken the whole crew out uh window wise so everybody can see you roll up at the club the windows work there is a sign that says no smoking i don't know if we've abided by that I'm not gonna lie um it, it's been used by us um but not abused the upholstery is in pretty good shape all around uh, so let's let's get out of this thing and it's running in a closed building. I was trying to get the mood effect. There's a little bit of sun up. Hey, Duke, you want to turn on the lights? Uh, Duke was with me when we actually bought the limo. We got up at auction in North Carolina um, earlier in the year to go to Amelia Island and take a bunch of our European friends. We thought it'd be cool to show up in this thing just because it's a little bit different. So we've used it as a luggage hauler, uh, threw a ton of bags in it. Whoever wanted to take a nap and was hurting from the night before rode in it as we went down the coast. So there's a sub back here, your luggage partition. You can kind of see the seating a little bit better. Like I said, the upholstery is in good shape. Um, headliner, your light show. 
it runs good we did maintenance on it so we did timing we did front brakes we did tires we did a water pump some torque mounts motor mounts contact me and go over it um, it's it, it is what it is it's a low mileage pt cruiser limo that's fun to jam out in uh, like all pt cruisers apparently the dash is cracked so not its best uh suit up here apparently the passenger window quit working but the ac is ice cold up here so it lasts um, there's a backup warning sensor operation thing that is great when it works. It has a mind of its own whether or not it wants to or not. The voltage meter. We have small controls down here. Um, so the backup sensor doesn't affect anything else. If you can't drive it and you have a problem with it, maybe you need it. But I've been able to squeeze it in parking spots. Uh, the front seats do sit up pretty far, you know, straight up. So if you're driving it and you're seven foot tall, it's probably not happening. Um, but the poster up here is in good shape. You have your own set up here. You feel the cold AC. Um, I don't know if we've tested the heat. I can try it real quick. I think we're at the operating temperature. Yes, I get heat and it's nice. So heat's functional. The center has been disabled. Um, I've not tried the CD player, but you get audio out of it. You have a horn. Um, I've tried cruise. We've, we've ran some road trips with it. Obviously, this isn't working because it's not negative 49 degrees in our building. Um, some buys are pretty clean. So it's the cool limo. I mean, the novelty for us wore off and we have uh, other things. We, we won the best back seat award at Concourse de Lemons. So we kind of need to move on to other things in life and find something new to take to an event my kids got to ride in it the team got to ride in it the uh schmidman front floor mats don't come with it i'm sorry they're expensive uh, the only odd thing we've ran across is let's see here you have to shut down the stuff in the back here and sometimes the front fog lights stay on and they don't so when you shut it off we haven't figured out we didn't get into it we have better things to do um, there is a shut off switch underneath the hood so when we sell it the car cave stickers will come off we can leave the rally you know our website and everything kind of has to come off so let me get the hood popped here i'll show you the shut off switch and someone repainted it um, where they painted is pretty decent work, but they got some overspray in places. The front wheel here, we blame Jude Alondo. He was driving and cracked a wheel. He thought, uh, I don't know, he was running into your formula or something. Don't let him drive your car. It'd be a bad idea. So let's get underneath here. There's the master shutoff switch, which is normal when you have some electronics and relays and stuff on one of these cars. We parked it. We just hit the switch just to make sure that we're not uh, not running accessories. We need to get everything shut off. Like I said, occasionally when we shut it down, um, the front fog lights would stay on. I don't know how it's connected in the electrical system. We've just hit the switch, parked the thing. It's pretty easy. Pop the hood and hit it. Uh, but we're being transparent on that. Uh, let's see. The top is in pretty good shape i said you can tell someone repainted it because you can see overspray where did i catch it earlier there's overspray on stuff so someone came through oh there it is the obvious um and they've repainted it so nothing detrimental to the entire operation but the coach work um it has some interesting lines whoever did it um it, it's probably they weren't the best in the business. They were building PT cruisers, not uh, stretch hummers. If you get my drift, you can see some overspray here. But you're buying it to have fun. Uh, we went through it. It's mechanically sound. It's done road trips. It hasn't let us down. It's been a quality mechanical car. Um, but you do see, you know, some of their coach work here. Just so you know what you're getting into. We bought it. They threw it at an auction and they didn't even detail it, clean it. There's old tequila bottles, liquor bottles. Beer bottles. It was 
it was uh, pretty filthy. Um, it was dirty when we got it. So we've cleaned it up significantly. And we're asking less than what we have in it for our maintenance and for what we paid for it at auction. Um, you can look it up. It went through GA Classics. It sold like three, four times there. People buys a novelty to party out of and they got their fun out of it. So that's what you should with this thing. Uh, you want a cheap limo to go cruise around in that the kids will have fun. We've made a lot of memories. Um, there's tons of stories. Our shop manager has a ritual when he rides in it. We hit some water burger late night. Um, it's seen some road trips. It's seen down the coast. It's gone to Charleston a couple of times, Beaufort, Savannah, Amelia Island, Best Back Seat, Concourse to Lemons. Uh, all, all around, it's something we've enjoyed. So, like I said, it's not perfect coach work, which I'm showing you here, but the soft top, or the, sorry, the uh, rag top, since it's not a soft top, it doesn't actually go back. It's in good shape, there's no tears. Um, Somebody got a little heavy on the wax on their buffing, hit it in here. But you can see some of their work degrading over time. Uh, windshield has one little chip in it. The sunroof, like I said, is disabled. We gotta get the graphics off of it. But yeah, um, you want a cheap limo, you wanna have fun, you wanna show up with something that no one else has ever seen, it's the PT Cruiser limo. Uh, it's been a hit. Fill the back of it with Walmart uh, champagne which we did to bribe judges at concourse to lemons and you'll have a good time we've loaded a ton of people in it and sound car i mean i've been surprised that rolling down the road it's been uh it's been a good ride but it's time to move on we'll go buy something else equally um ignorant i guess but if you have questions let us know it's car cave my name's chris we have some other fun stuff around here as you can see the collection just up front um, we now have a secondary warehouse, plus what we're doing here for service, which is in the back of the building, six acre property. So if you know cars and I'm kind of wandering around here, you can see it. So like I said, hopefully you will buy this and enjoy our limo. We'll pass on some memories and you buy it. We'll even go out with you. We'll throw that one in. If you made it this far in the video, we'll, we'll take you out for a night, which is probably going to cost uh, you know, five ten percent sale price, but whatever. Um, let us know. Give us a call. PT Cruiser Limo, possibly formerly owned by the rapper Little Wayne.